Hey, what's up, guys? Now uh, we are going to start the new series. Now this series uh, will be actually the practical application of uh, uh, the C that you have been learning. Uh, now in this, uh, I'll create a playlist which will co consist of the programs that you encounter in your practicals or uh, your uh, assignments or maybe in certain books that uh, the solution for which you need. I'll ex be explaining you in detail the solutions for it. And now, if uh, now this uh, will be, I guess, on request basis. If if, if you need any of the program uh, being uh, explained to you, we can do that for you. So uh, you can uh, comment in the section there, and uh, we'll be happy to help you out. Now, in this video, in this uh, lecture, we'll be covering uh, seeing a program. Now, uh, uh, now the input that is given to us will be that we are given three points. That is three coordinates uh, having. Uh, x and y and we have to determine whether the three points lie on the same, same line now the concept behind uh, this is that ki, suppose you have three points suppose a b and c and their respective coordinates are x a y a x b y b x c and y c now you can see that uh, a line is currently passing through them now these points lie on the same line now the trick behind here is that we uh, we see that this if we consider on parallel uh, to an x axis now we see that the angle is same so therefore the slope of the line ab now you know the slope formula right it is uh, you know, uh, the second coordinate uh, the y coordinate uh, y coordinate of the b and y coordinate of a divided by your x coordinate of b and x coordinate of a now this is from general mass now we look at a slope of AC. Now the same way it's YC minus YA divided by XC minus XA. Now you can see that the slope in both the cases is same. Now so we can conclude that if three points lie on the same line, then the slope of those uh, lines are same. Now what in the case if the points are not uh, lying on the same line? Look at these points now A, B and C. Uh, and their coordinates now you can see that they don't lie on the same line they occupy two lines now what will happen in this case the angle that's the slope will not be the same now so we can conclude that the, we know the formula of slope ab and ac we find out the slope and we conclude that the slope of ac is not equal to the slope of ab so therefore we conclude that now we know the logic that is that if the slopes are equal that means that the three points lie on the same line and if the slopes are not equal that means that the slope uh, are not equal that means that they are uh, lying on two different lines now we will try to implement a program from, from this I just created a file named three points or C and I saved it and I'll just uh, we'll include start with including stdio for your input output then we'll write the main and now first thing is we'll declare the variables now the variables that we'll be using is which I showed you that is x a y a and uh, uh, x c yc okay so i'll just declare them xa comma xb comma xc ya yb and yc now that i have declared and i'll just declare uh, the slope that is i'll declare it in a float slope of the first line that I'll put as slope 1 and slope 2 okay so I am ready I have declared all the variables now I am ready to write the code now first I need to tell the user to input the coordinates of your point A so I'll just put a print statement and tell the user that enter two values I'll write a message enter 2 sorry uh, enter coordinates of 
first point now after i see this message i need to take input from the user so i'll this i'll scan both them that is i'll use scanner and i'll put question d question d and i'll store them in x a comma y a now i need to take three inputs from the user right for three three uh, points so i'll just copy paste this and i'll change the message that is now we want for the second pose, uh, point and in this case it will be x b and this will be y b because we are uh, looking at the uh, second uh, coordinate now this will be x c and this will be y c and uh, we want third point right so we'll put third point now that we have completely scanned the input now the thing that we need to do is just look at the slope now we look at the formula if you don't remember and now see the formula for slope is of a b is that i do y b minus y a then divided by x b minus x a and the slope of a c will be y c minus y a divided by x c minus x a now let's uh, write this formula in your uh, in the program i'll just put slope 1 is equal to i'll have y b minus y a the whole divided by your x uh, x b minus x a and the same same for slope 2 which will be equal to y c minus y a and divided by x c minus x a now in this case uh, what is happening is that we are, we are dividing these two values and we are storing in slope now if you observe that the all the coordinates are stored in integer and the slope are floating point so the division that we will get will be an integer but this the value of slope can be uh, in point right it can it can be a real number so what we'll do is that we'll just multiply this by 1.0 so now it will be converted into your real number so we'll just make that change so that we get the output proper into 1.0 now that we are done with this now the thing that we need to check is to see whether both the slopes are equal i missed a few brackets okay so we'll just check if both the slopes are equal if if slope 1 is equal to slope 2 then we can conclude that the points lie on the same line so we'll print a message to the user saying that the points lie on the same line on the same line else means that these points do not lie on the same line so we'll print a message saying that the points do not lie on the same line now we'll just compile this and run it so that to see if it is running properly 
let's say we have an error okay so I had put an extra bracket so I'll just remove it compile it and it's done and we should be ready to run it now first I'll enter the coordinates uh, which we know that they lie on the same line that is 0 and 0 then 1 1 and 2 2 now see the points lie on the same line now let's try for some other input where we know that they don't lie on the same line how about 0 comma 0 1 comma space 1 and we we'll look at 2 space 1 now, these points do not lie on the same lines so we get the proper output so now we can conclude that our program is been successfully executed i hope you understood uh, whatever i said in this code if you have any doubts uh, please comment uh, we'll be happy to help you out and we'll be coming up with more tutorials on this practical or your uh, assignment programs uh, which you would like us to explain uh, please give your suggestions and do subscribe to our channel and like our video thank you